What's going on, everybody? My name is Zell Prince, and welcome back to yet another reaction video. Or rather, a rubber reaction video. Uh, I think I have my webcam issue fixed. Because I don't see it flickering anymore. But I'm going to continue looking over here. Over here, because that's where my OBS is. That's where I notice. That's why I keep looking to my left. My left, not my... Not, you know, you, you know what I mean. Because uh, I have a second screen over here, if you guys don't know that. So I could keep an eye on my OBS and everything else that I'm using, like Discord, recording, and whatnot. But regardless, guys, we're going to go ahead and get into this new reaction video. We're going to go react to SCP-2761, Bananazilla? Bananazilla? It's a... But... Okay. Uh... <laughs> We're going to go ahead and go ahead and react to this, guys. If you guys are enjoying these reaction videos or my SCP reaction videos, please like and subscribe, you guys. I really like reacting to this stuff. The SCP Foundation astounds me. It just does so much. It like I really personally I enjoy this. In the future, for my for future SCP Foundation reaction videos, I plan on getting a lab coat and a SCP symbol that I could stitch onto here just for the fun of it because I really enjoy making it. SCP Foundation reaction videos, and I think about 50% of my reaction videos that I've made within the last two years have all been SCP. I could be wrong, but I could be right. But hopefully you guys guys will enjoy today's reaction video. I'm going to go ahead and get right into it and not delay any further. So, three, two, one, go. Viewer, Viewer discretion describes. is advised. Viewer, yeah. Ten minutes later, what Matthew, said. <laughs> Morgan, Pearl, and Nakamura all walked out fully suited up. Pearl and Nakamura held packs of various medical and testing equipment. Matthew and Morgan both carry giant rifles filled with tranquilizer. Hello everybody, I'm the Rubber. Today we bring you SCP Foundation oh, Euclid class, class Object SCP-2761. <clears throat> SCP-2761 is oh, a large explains. hunchbacked bipedal alligator with a mouth structure similar to that of a bull shark. 2761 possesses a notably yellow skin. Okay, sorry to pause so quickly into the video, but now I know why it's called Bananazilla because it literally looks like a banana. The thumbnail didn't didn't really look, say it looked like a banana at all. So now I can see it. Now that I'm looking at the body and now I'm looking at the head, it got the split open like a like a banana does. So I could I could see that now. Skin coloration, a petaled, flexible frill that can conceal and protect its face and constantly like a exudes trap. a scent that smells like overripe bananas. Additionally, 2761 possesses biohazardous blood, at least 32 known genetic carcinogens and dozens of known hazardous bacteria strains are present. Uh -oh. It appears its gut flora also constantly <clears throat> produces even more of the above substances. So it's a However, literal, so it's like a literal walking virus in a sense. That, is, that, is that right? Instead of causing 2761 harm, it appears these compounds and bacteria are beneficial for it, inciting even further mutations over time. Huh. Strangely, despite all of the mutations 2761 has undergone, it has never shown signs of any cancers or tumors. Hey, SCP like I said, a literal walking virus. Oh god. <laughs> 761 is somehow able to absorb and express the genes of other animals it eats. In an interview with the researcher Matthew, Dr. Pearl, and Dr. Nakamura, the two genetic scientists at Aquagene, a pet storefront that sells heavily genetically modified aquarium fish, revealed that 2761 was apparently part of a set of prototypes for their next proposal, Senti Fruit Fish. 2761 was initially supposed to be banana pipefish. However, in about the fifth week of development, Dr. Pearl caught Dr. Higgins, their lead geneticist, tampering with a batch of the baby banana pipefish. Higgins was making them more carnivorous and more yellow because he thought it would be hilarious if he could sneak a biting banana into the local grocery stores. So she confiscated them, and Higgins promised never to be involved again. However, Higgins was lying to her. The truth was, Higgins made more of those things after he took them back, put the originals in the disposal unit, and then flushed the rest of them down the toilet. I, we are so, so sorry for the trouble we've caused you. You, it, it looks like you were able to capture it. So, um, Mr. Matthew, if it's possible for us to examine this thing, we might be able to help you find a way to... At that moment, researcher Matthew's intercom flared to life. SCP-2761's Wrangler, Morgan, spoke in a hurried tone on the other end. 
We've got a situation with the banana fish. It ain't pretty. What's going on? Did, did it grow again? Uh, yeah, it did. But it, uh, it grew because it, it ate a D-class. And now it's walking around on its hind legs. Uh-oh. There was a brief <clears throat> moment of silence in the room. Matthew stood still, once again not quite believing what he just heard. Pearl and Nakamura, on the other hand, looked confused. What? What's the damage report? Did it get out? Oh no, no, it, it's still in containment, all locked down. But, but... All right, thanks, Morgan. I'm bringing the two back to Site 71. Notify the guard station so they don't try to mind wipe them when they cross the door. What? Pearl squeaked. Nakamura asked nervously. Um, Mr. Matthew, what do you mean by... You two shut up. You're coming with me. And you're going to help us figure out this hot mess of a so-called fish you made. Follow me downstairs, please. We're going to have to speed back to base. The two aqua gene scientists jumped then hurriedly followed the Foundation agent out of the room. Everyone's day was about to get a whole lot more interesting. Not much more interesting. stayed silent with fear as the armored van carrying him and Dr. Pearl rumbled softly down the road to who knows where. He was beginning to have his doubts about Matthew's credibility. What the hell is going on? Nakamura felt his neck beginning to sweat. Meanwhile, Pearl began to cry. Where are you taking us? What are you going to do to us? Please, please, I don't want to die. You're not going to die, Dr. Pearl. We just need your help. After you help us, you're free to go. Matthew, you there? I don't think The car's intercom free. flared to life again. Matthew hurriedly flipped the radio to speaker. Yeah, what's the situation? All good? Yeah, still under control. We got a team in, and we're able to knock the thing out. Oh. Just pumped it with a ton of tranks. You know how this thing works, though. It's always changing. It's out for now, but get your ass back here sooner than later. Wouldn't want it to eat those two you're bringing. Oh, God, we're going to die. Mr. Matthew, please don't hurt us. Meanwhile, back at Site 71, in SCP-2761's metal enclosure pen, it rumbled softly as it lay on its side, chock full of potent tranquilizers. Its yellow hide continued to exude a strong banana scent masking the fact that its body contained what could basically be summed up as everything cancer. Except that everything cancer didn't kill it. No, that everything cancer just made it a bigger pain in the ass every time it ate something. And so the more it consumes, the bigger it gets. Is that what I'm getting from this? Now, it had just eaten D5781E, causing it to grow from a 4-meter banana salamander with teeth to a 5-meter banana alligator with much bigger teeth. At that moment, the door to 2761's door buzzed open. Good to see you, Morgan. Matthew patted his old friend on the shoulder, then said a bit more softly, We got company. Go easy on them, okay? They're understandably a bit spooked. Morgan walked up to the pair. Hello, my name is Philip Morgan. I'm one of the field agents that helped capture the animal you're going to study. I'm sorry we had to bring you in like that, but we're trying to keep a low cover with this thing. Haven't seen anything like it before, and this place is supposed to be a secret. Pearl's knees were shaking, but she felt her breathing a bit easier now. Okay, well, what's going to happen to us if we help you out? You're free to go, of course. Of course, we will have to keep an eye on you and your company for a while after. We want this thing under wraps. You'd have to keep it a secret. If you told anyone, there would be consequences. Not that we want to go that route. There was a potent silence for a minute as everyone in the room took in what was going on. <laughs> that, sorry, that face just, just took me off guard. Finally, Dr. Nakamura spoke. So, how big has this thing gotten? It's currently at around 5 meters, and it will probably still grow as time goes on. It's currently knocked out right behind those closed doors. He gestured towards 2761's containment pen. Are you feeling well enough to look at it right now? We'll send you in with guards, of course. Yes. Yeah, what do we need to do? Thank you, Dr. Nakamura. We can get you geared up with protective suits right away. Matthew and I will accompany you into its room. Yes, thank you, Dr. Nakamura. Matthew tried not to grit his teeth as he shot a sideways glare at Morgan for volunteering him and, and Morgan's eyes betrayed a hidden grin. Matthew sighed. All right, gear up. Suit room is unlocked. 
a buzzer went off as the doorway adjacent to 2761's pin clicked open. Inside, Pearl and Nakamura could see neon yellow hazmat suits hanging on a rack. Wait, oh, and wait, I was about to say, why do they need to wear hazmat suits? Because I was going to say that, but now that I understand that, now that I know that this thing's a little walking virus. Wait, does it mean that the virus is inside of it is airborne? I don't remember, I don't think, it, I don't think rubber said it, that it was airborne, the viruses. I think it was only contracted inside. I, mm. Morgan and Matthew walked past the Aquagene scientists. Matthew turned around. Come on, Pearl, Nakamura, suit up. Don't worry, you'll be safe. Morgan and I will have your backs. Ten minutes later, Matthew, Morgan, Pearl, and Nakamura all walked out fully suited up. Pearl and Nakamura held packs of various medical and testing equipment. Matthew and Morgan both carried giant rifles filled with tranquilizer. A voice called out on the loudspeaker. Now opening door to 2761. Pearl and Nakamura looked at each other from behind the visors of their hazmat suits. Great, let's check this fish out. The doors whooshed open. The whole room was filled with the smell of bananas. And Matthew, Morgan, Pearl, and Nakamura all walked in. Oh. What the hell? It's that a lake. It's not a fish. Remember to check out my new animation. Okay, so it broke out and killed all of them. <laughs> um, all right, I didn't know. Okay, so it, that didn't answer my question whether or not it said, rubber said it was the viruses inside 2761 were airborne. I don't think he said that. I don't think he did, at least. But. Hmm. All right. Okay, then. Um, it was a pretty interesting one. It started out as a fish, and then it became a hulking alligator-like creature that was also a banana. Then again, I was about to I was about to say that makes that doesn't make any sense. But then again, it's the SCP Foundation. What's gonna make sense? All right, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's reaction video. Like, subscribe, all that stuff, guys. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.